Welcome back to Jessica Wolf. I have received a giant box of Happy Mail from Van Diemen's and I am so excited to open this up and check out what's inside and share it with you guys. Let me take everything out of the box and then we'll unwrap and see what they sent me. I did want to mention that I am using a new mic today. I'm testing it out to see if I have better sound quality on my videos, but also if it will block out some of the background noise. So hopefully this mic works out and it doesn't mess up during the video. Otherwise I'll have to do a voiceover and I really don't like voiceovers. But I am using a new mic, so let me know in the comments if you guys think the sound is better, if you like the sound, what you guys think as we go through the video. Let me get this opened up and we will check out the goodies that Van Diemen's sent me. Okay, so I have unboxed everything and oh my goodness, I am so excited. They have sent me a bottle of their fountain pen ink diluter and rehydrator. You can use this fluid to desaturate highly saturated inks, lighten the tone of dark colored inks, and rehydrate inks that have lost volume and thickened due to evaporation. This is a product that they added to their shop a while back. I had not bought it, and so now I have it. I will have to see if I have an ink that we can test this on in a different video. I'm not going to test this in this video, but we will check this out on another video. But this is awesome. It's in a glass bottle. It has a little eyedropper inside like that that has measurements on it, if you can see that. Oh, I'm so excited to play with this. We are definitely going to be playing with this on another video. And then I got not one, but two boxes of inks. This weighs so much. So we are going to be checking those out. And the last thing I got, I am so excited about. So Van Diemen's has launched actually this month on November 1st, they launched their ink mixing kits and they are launching this in five different kits. And they sent me the green kit. The kits are called Fusion. You can see that and it has this beautiful hollow on there and it has a little drawer and when you open it up it has a card inside that talks to you about the ink mixing kit and the steps to creating your ink storage care all of the things and then you have two bottles that you can put your mixed ink into and then you have your different colors for mixing that are in glass bottles with eyedroppers some of them have shimmer like this one this one is sky blue shimmering liquid and this one is lily pad green shimmering liquid this is so fun Oh, I'm so excited. And then this one is golden yellow, which is a mixable color. And then this one is blue, which is vivid blue. What you do is you basically mix your yellow and blue to get to the color that you want and add your shimmer, either more green toned or more blue toned or a combination of the two. And then you store them in these little glass bottles that are adorable. This is so much fun. I'm so excited. Oh, this is the neatest idea. I have seen some brands have offered mixing sets, but this is by far from what I've seen the nicest one. The packaging is so nice. The bottles are nice. They're doing different colors for each mixing kit. So now I'm going to have to snag all of the colors because how could I just have green? I'm going to have to have all five, right? And we're going to have to check them all out. And you get to add shimmer and it comes with the little storage bottles and they're really good size. I don't know if it says in here, it doesn't say in here what size these little bottles are, but I will check in the listing to see if it tells you the size of the bottles. But this is so much fun. Okay, so we're not going to play with this on this video. I think the Fusion Kit deserves its own video. So I'm going to put it away and then we will check it out and mix an ink in a future video but this is the coolest thing you guys definitely need to get this and before i forget i do have a link and discount code for their shop so that you can save to shop and the way that my discount code works it works worldwide it's not set in a specific currency so that way everybody gets the same value for my discount code but we are going to check out and swatch all the inks they gave me. Oh, I can already see one and I'm so excited. I got their September ink. 
I got Bengal Tiger Blaze, Catnip, Cheetah Chase. These cat ones are a new collection that they have. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So Mad Half Hour and Kitten Paws. Lion's Roar and Here Kitty Kitty. Snow Leopard Frost and Ragdoll Kisses. Her and Persian Princess. I am not a cat person, but when I saw this cat collection, oh my goodness, the colors were amazing. I had to have them. Nine Lives and Emerald Eyes. I love that they take a theme and they make their whole collection off of that theme. It's just, oh, it's amazing. Tortoise Shell and Russian Blue. And last of the cats is Tom Cat. And then they also sent me, and I'm so excited for these because I really wanted them. They sent me Elizabeth and Marilyn. Look at these boxes. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I'm so excited. So the September ink, look how big this bottle is, guys. I mean, like, look at the box. We'll show the bottles in a second. They are doing these limited edition inks. So every month there is a new color and it is limited to that month. I think they make a hundred bottles of it and that's it. And you get it with your purchase when you purchase a certain amount of their ink. And they are so pretty. You guys have to check out the November ink and then go online and order because they have been so pretty. It's been so hard not to buy all the inks every month just to get these limited edition inks. But this one was just Oh, glorious. And it has shimmer in there. It's settled in shipping. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay. So the first thing I have to do is take everything out of the boxes because we can't get into the inks if I don't take them out of the boxes. When you take them out of the boxes, you do have their bottles. If there's shimmer, a lot of times it will have settled to the bottom like this one. You can just roll it in your hands like this to redistribute the shimmer. If you're just swatching or you're using a dip pen, shaking it like this is perfectly fine. But if you're going to be loading your fountain pen, I highly suggest you don't do that because it does cause a lot of air bubbles and those can get into your pen and then you can get burps and spurts and all that kind of stuff. So I definitely recommend you just kind of twist it and or go like this to get that shimmer dispersed and then it will disperse into the ink bottle beautifully. But let me take them all out of the boxes and figure out a place to put the boxes. And we will check them all out. I do store my Van Diemen's inks in the boxes. So I put them all back in the boxes. Like This is one from one of their other collections that I've shared, which is from their Birds of a Feather collection. And this is Blue Jay Crown. But I do store them in the boxes so I don't throw them away. Personal choice. You could definitely throw them away. But, I mean, they're gorgeous. And I find that it's way easier to tell the color of the ink from the boxes if I have the box than the bottle. Because the bottle will have the label on it with the name, as you can see there. But on the side of the box, it will have a swatch of the color. So if I'm looking for a particular color, I don't have to open up the bottle or look at it in the light. I can just look at the box and see the swatch and I know what color it is and I know if it's the color that I'm looking for. And then of course all the boxes have the gorgeous logo on top in the gold foiling. So who wouldn't love having that stored on their shelf? Okay, so I have everything out of the boxes. We have September in their 100 milliliter bottle, and a lot of their inks come in two bottle sizes, the 30 milliliter, which is this one, and then the 100 milliliter, which is this one. I tend to buy these because I have a ton of fountain pen ink, but if it's a color that I really, really love, I get the 100 milliliter, but I have mostly 30 milliliters. So we have the September, and then we have Elizabeth and Marilyn. Marilyn has shimmer, and Elizabeth does not. And then we have the feline collection. So four of them do not have shimmer. And then the other three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve of them do have shimmer. So we are going to swatch these out. And I'm going to do this a little bit different because... On a previous swatching video, I was asked to write the names of the ink in the ink so that you could see it with a pen because I do do my swatchings with an automatic pen 
This is one of my automatic pens. I actually got these from an art store back home. They're more often found in Europe, but there is a retailer that I love that sells these online. So we'll have a link to their shop down below because I do get asked a lot about my automatic pen. And I also have my Khaki Mori nib. And I actually use mine in a Kueco SketchUp. I find it's the best holder for this nib. It's the most comfortable for me to write and I love the weight of it. I just love everything I just love everything about it. It's even just really really cute. I like this better than putting it into like a dip pen holder. I do have dip pen holders that are made for this and other dip pen holders and I have used it in those but I much prefer it in this Koiko SketchUp. So I do have that as well in case I want to do a little bit with that. So I was trying to decide where I wanted to do these swatches. I do have a pad of Tomoe River paper that I often do swatches in. These are some Van Diemen ink swatches that I've actually done here on my channel. And then I pulled out this RSTEL Simple Grid Companion Notebook and I thought about doing it in this because it does have perforation so I could pull these pages out and if I wanted to tip them into my planner I could to mark this awesome Happy Mail from Van Diemen's. But I also have my swatch book that I use in most of my videos. This is Cosmo Air Light Paper, and I have swatched a bunch of Van Diemen's inks in here. And so I think that I'm just going to stick with my swatch book because this is what I usually use. And I just love Cosmo Air Light Paper. I'm very sad that it's being discontinued. And I love that this is spiral and that it's kind of fluffing up where I've done my swatches. It's just a fun place to swatch. So I think we're gonna do it here. So I was trying to figure out what to do because normally I start with the inks that don't have shimmer and then I go to the inks that do have shimmer. But if I do that, I have to kind of mix up the collections. So I'd have to do Elizabeth and then the Feline collection without the shimmer and then go back. But I think that's okay. I don't think it'll be too confusing. So I think we'll just go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with Elizabeth.
have everything that I got in this Happy Mail box from Van Diemen's. We have Elizabeth and Marilyn, we have the September, and then we have all of the inks from the Feline collection. And oh, they are so pretty. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. I'm trying to figure out which one is my favorite, but they're not dry yet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave it here and let it dry. I'm gonna rinse out my water and make sure that I have my tools cleaned nicely. And then once it is all dry, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to share it with you guys and show you guys what each one of them looks like up close, dry, so that you guys can see them in all of their glory. The shimmer looks so pretty from here. I am so excited and I'm trying to figure out which ones of these I think I might wanna use in some fountain pen videos that are coming to share with you guys. Okay, so everything is dry except for Cheetah Chase and Lion's Roar and Tortoise Shell. Those have a little bit of a wet spot, I guess. Um, Tomcat and Nine Lives do as well. But we're going to go ahead and check them out because I want to see what they look like up close and personal. We have Elizabeth that has some green gold sheen in it. It's a beautiful purple. And then we have Marilyn with this beautiful sparkle. I hope that the camera is picking that up because you can even see the sparkle in the writing that I did with the dip pen. So you're going to see sparkle in your pen writing as well. And that's the case actually with all of these as I sort of move them around in the light. You can see the shimmer and sparkle in them. Then we have September, which is this wonderful, like rainy, cozy blue color. I absolutely love it. It has a little bit of a pinky purple tint to it. And then the rest of these are the feline collection. So we have Russian blue, catnip, tomcat, purr, ragdoll kiss, leopard frost, nine lives, here kitty kitty, Bengal Tiger Blaze, Mad Half Hour, Kitten Paws, Persian Princess, Cheetah Chase, Emerald Eyes, Tortoise Shell, and Lion's Roar. Now, Tortoise Shell in the bottle looked purple, but it's actually a brown with green, and it's so pretty. Look at all of that beautiful shimmer and sparkle and sheen in these inks. They are so pretty. So I'm trying to figure out which one my favorite is. I actually like Kitten Paws a lot. I actually thought this one had shimmer in it, so I had put it in the shimmer pile. But Kitten Paws actually doesn't have shimmer in it. But it is one of my favorites. I think this is like the prettiest sort of taupey nude, almost rose gold colored. I think here Kitty Kitty and Kitten Paws and Bengal Tiger Blaze, those are going to look really pretty in a rose gold pen. I actually have a video planned. I've been pulling inks aside to test to see what inks would look good with rose gold pens. So I'm going to add those three to that. And then at some point I'll be doing a video on that as well. But I'm having a lot of trouble figuring out what my favorite is. I really love Marilyn. I knew that I would. It's so pretty. It's like kind of bubblegum pink with some shimmer in it. But Mad Half Hour is so pretty and so unique. I absolutely love it. And then I really like the three sort of rose gold colored ones. I adore September. I think it is absolutely beautiful. So, so pretty. But I really, you couldn't go wrong with any of these. I like all of them. But I think this row right here is my favorite from the Feline Collection, and then Marilyn and September are my other two favorites. But this is also the perfect purple. There is a Lamy purple that I absolutely love, and this reminds me a lot of that, so I'm very excited for that. But that is my share of my Happy Mail from Van Diemen's. I got all of these gorgeous inks, which you will see some of these in future videos as we fill up pens and test out pens. I got the bottle of their fountain pen ink diluter and rehydrator. This is gonna be super fun. As soon as I find an ink, in my collection that needs to be diluted and or rehydrated. We will test this out on a video. And then I got the Fusion Kit. And I'm really excited to play with this with you guys. So I will be doing a video where we mix ink with this Fusion Kit. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up buying the other four kits as well because this is so fun. And I think my kiddo would really enjoy mixing some ink colors with me as well. I think it would be a really fun thing to do. But that's my video of my Happy Mail from Van Diemen's. 
If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing and swatching. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.